Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So I want to preface this episode by saying the next couple of episodes most likely will only have one mission in them each. Um, I'm recording, I'm going to record four episodes tonight, two of Night Witches, two of um, Jade Falcon Freeborn. Um, but they're only going to be one mission each because I'm starting to feel under the weather and I have a feeling I will not be able to record tomorrow. So... Um, I just want to make sure we have episodes for the next couple of days, just so you guys got something to watch. Um, so with that being said, uh, I want to show you what we've done here in the meantime for the Night Witches. So things have changed slightly. We've jumped planets like I said we would. So let's go to the star map first, just to kind of show you where we are. Uh, we did jump to the planet I thought we would go to, uh, right here. Um, and we are at Asgard now, and this yesterday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was Jade Falcon controlled? Well, we are at Asgard, <laughs> unless I'm wrong. I can't remember. I don't. I, you know, I'm still not feeling that well right now. Maybe I'm wrong, but we are here right now. Um, and if we have a look at the um, contracts, we drew up a really bad <laughs> group of contracts here. There's a plenty of Jade Falcon missions here. Um, I thought it was Jade Falcon controlled last episode. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I recorded it last night. You'd think I would know that. Uh, but we've got a meat grinder here. Two elite lances from planetary government holding an area in, uh, of importance on Asgard. So we're going to take this mission tonight. Um, bonus pay will be quite generous, but this will test you. So we're going to give it a shot. If we have to bail, we have to bail. And I get that. Uh, 211 generally means it's going to be good salvage. So we'll have to see what it is. Now, uh, going to the mech bays real quick. Um, I decided to outfit our second catapult here, or our fifth catapult, or however many we have with it. <laughs> Let's go to the heavy mechs and storage. Um, how many catapults do we have now? Somebody mentioned that uh, we're going to have a full catapult lance. We're pretty darn close to having a catapult lance. And I think, honestly, that would be kind of a cool idea um, to go with a catapult lance, because right now we do have a heavy lance right here across the top. Uh, we've got two catapults here, plus the third one in storage. Uh, and, you know, we could go with four catapults. Um, so that is a possibility. So I'm going to keep my eye open for catapult parts in this mission. Uh, or if we take out a four, mission, four skull mission, we'll, we'll keep our eye open and see if we can get some more. Now, we do have tons of catapult parts in storage. So, you know, chances of getting another catapult are really good right now. Um, but this particular catapult, you can't see it here. Um, but I set this guy up. Um, with a loadout that I thought would work in a huge support role. So this guy's got a command console in him. The idea was in those missions where we really need the support for the Black Knight, uh, it's got the command console to extend the Black Knight's visual range by 100 meters and everybody else's visual range by 100 meters. Uh, the idea would be most likely to be to run would be to run the Cataphract and the Marauder 2 in the long range um, direct fire role. Um, and the Black Knight in a melee role. And in this, with this regard, the command console will help out with all three mechs. But also we put an advanced AMS system in it, which will support the, both the Cataphract and the Marauder 2 with um, anti-missile support. Um, so, and we can put it on overdrive too, which will make it fire more uh, for more rounds. Uh, now it also has uh, I gotta remember now. I think it's a pair of LRM 15s and an LRM 10. If it's or it's, I think it's a 20, a 15, and a 10. It's a, it's like a 55 missile loadout or a 50 missile loadout somewhere, somewhere around there. I think it's a 50 loadout, and it's got lots of varieties of ammo. It's got um, LK ammo. It's got swarm ammo. It's got thunder ammo. Uh, so it's got a wide variety of um, firing modes. Um, plus it's got the SM9 as well, um, which if you remember is basically a long-range missile platform, but it, it the SM9 also it acts like a NARC, so it'll give us some advanced targeting at long range. The, but the bonus about the catapult is it can stand behind both the, cat, the cataphract and the Marauder 2, which will be in a direct fire roll. Stand behind them um, or just off to the side behind cover and fire indirectly. Now the indirect fire won't be as accurate um, as it would if we were running an Artemis system, but it'll be accurate enough to be able to do what we want it to do. Um, and it will defend the other two mechs. So that's that's kind of the goal with that. Um, so we'll have to see how it runs. But right now we're going to take that other mission with our four top uh, lance mates here. Um, 
maybe this is a bad idea, but um, we're going to give it a we're going to give it a whirl here. Let's go to the meat grinder. Uh, I'm going to go full salvage on this. We're okay for our C bills here. I sold a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, the one thing I did do. Um, I won't show you, but um, I sold off a lot of the old mechs that we're never going to go back to. So things like the crab, um, the hunchback, uh, the fire starter, the raptor, all those light mechs, chances are we're never going to go back to them ever. Uh, and if we do, we can always go get more somewhere. Um, but right now, we're, we're basically medium mechs and up, um, and the heavier end of the medium, so 55 tonners and up. Um, since we're fighting clans, chances are we'll be picking up some clan mechs, like we picked up a Stormcrow, so... Yeah, so that's why I kind of got rid of them, just to get them out of, this, out of the bays and we'd have a bit of sea bills to fix up the catapult and stuff. So, alright, so let's accept this mission. Keep our fingers crossed. Gonna run with the main lance, and there they are. So let's deploy and get this done. Alright, entrance progestion A. Alright. We know the we know the the uh, rub on this. We go up to the left this way, keep us out of sight of the uh, approaching reinforcements. Uh, there's our main lance up there. We want to take the high ground. I mean, the other way to run this, but it puts you in line of fire of the enemy, is to come this way and come up around this way and take the high grounds here. But then you're being targeted by all four or both lances up in the high ground. Um, and it's difficult, more difficult to maneuver here. You can mitigate the, di the direct fire from these guys. Now, if they're all missile mechs, up, you know, there's not much we can really do about that, but that. we're going to make our way this way. This might get us back into a corner or two, so we'll have to be very careful about that. We really, really want to get Megasaur into attack range as fast as possible. Uh, let's get up over here. Let's so we're at the move. edge of the trees. Right, we want to get out of the trees as quickly as possible to gain some ground on the enemy. So let's do that. Alright. And let's get her up to the extra, uh, Bobby Egg up to the edge of the trees. We want to get down into this defilade as fast as we possibly can, I think. I'm, I'm kind of glad that our heavy lance has got some half decent speed to them. Yeah, there we go. What was that, a Spectre? Looks like enemy reinforcements. Okay. No eyes on yet. No sensors on, that is. Gladiator, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Not that worried about it yet. Uh, another blip, I have no idea. Black Knight. Barbarian. Centurion. 7S. Banshee. Ooh. Light damage, Commander. Okay, let's maximize. What we can do here. I'm gonna leave the rack off for now. I'm gonna have to really only be firing that when we absolutely can get six good shots on somebody. Get some fire started. Nice. Yes, Commander. I need you up this way. Please and thank you. Let's just target right here. Don't shoot our guy in the back. Uh, what? Oh, outside of firing arc. Should show me my firing arc then. Don't look a don't look a gift horse in the mouth. That was uh, what can I shouldn't have you? said that. Wait, I shouldn't have said what I said. All right, let's get up into here. Moving fast. Yeah, just take pot shots. Oh, we hit nice. Started a lot of fire over there. Excellent. That should hopefully minimize the shots coming from that side for a turn anyway. I think with our loadouts, we definitely want to keep these guys into a ranged fight. Gladiator's coming in. 
It's going to be outside of our attack range, I think, with the uh, Black Knight. Galahad. Okay, not so bad. Galahad's pretty tough, but not as tough as us. That was the Centuri on. Mm-hmm. Love the fact that our Thunderbolt has got... Yeah, you're just outside of our attack range here. Look at this. Uh, which means... Most likely... That I am outside of your range. And we're going to shoot this guy. Firing three. Staying nice and hot. This guy moves in. He's toast. Depending on how far he can move, we need to back up, make sure that he can't get to us. Commander. Yeah, you need to sprint, please. Minefield possible damage. Heat 13, zero. I don't think we can really go anywhere. We're not going to take damage from the minefield, except for backwards. So we're going to move back. Let's back up. On the move. Damage six, okay. Take that, because we have no choice, and we're going to fire. Once this gladiator's down, it's full, full, it's full steam ahead. Let's get in the woods for superior ablat of armor. Firing the ER larges. Satori, same idea. Back up into here. We weren't able to get as far forward as I was hoping that uh, um, Gladiator really uh, is blocking our way, but that's fine. Once he goes down, we're coming around the corner here, getting out of direct fire of these guys. Spectre's moving up. Yeah, most missiles are down. It is a minefield though, so we'll have to deal with it. Now, I don't know if he's... I think he's outside our range again. These guys are closing in on us fast. Let's hope this, this gladiator is inside our range. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Not really. Yeah, we're going to have to take the damage. Uh, what are we looking at? 54% chance to hit. Berserker confirm. We have no choice. we got to do this. Melee from the front. Let's hope we hit. Here it comes. Fingers crossed. Oh, we lost it because of the minefield. We lost the full attack because of the fucking minefield. Are you kidding me? Lost the full attack because of the minefield. Oh my god, really? I forgot all about that. That's my bad. At least we got a shit ton of evasion. Oh, uh, we push the leg. What do we do here? Or do we just shoot him? I think we just shoot him. We gotta apply damage. If we don't, Megasaur is screwed. I think she's in a lot of trouble anyway. Do we reserve? No, I think we just take the shot for the head. Nice Gotta go for headshots. It's really the only way we can do this. I 
I don't think we can get rid of the partial obstruction here. All right, well, wind it up. Got no choice. See what we can do. Nope. Good to go. Coordinates received. I think we just shoot this one straight out. We don't really have a really good chance to hit anyway. Damn it. These guys are just fast. Fingers crossed, guys. We got six chevrons of evasion. Man, that was a critical error. Why? I'm not sure why minefields would interrupt melee. Because if you think about it, it would cause less problems than like, you know, being shot in the leg with a rack 5 and then being able to run a full distance and melee somebody. Right? If you think about it, or if someone hits you in the leg with an AC-20, You'd have a hu much worse chance of being able to hit anybody. Oh well. All I can do is keep my fingers crossed. I can't believe that. Ah. Well, it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't tough. As soon as that Galahad moves, or sorry, sorry, as soon as that uh, Gladiator moves, I'm going to close my eyes. <laughs> close my eyes. Oh. That wasn't a kill? Buddy. That was pretty fail for you. 89. I thought the Gladiators did way more melee damage than that. Was I just... Am I just... The whole purpose of that mech is a melee mech. Like, it doesn't... I don't even know what to say to that. I'm showing minor damage. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Um, and I'm, like, really shocked at this point. Um, we need to pull this guy down. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to reserve Sunflower, because I want Megasaur to take the first shot at this guy. I mean, the other thing we could do is try and kill him from behind and then use Megazord to take out the Barbarian. That's a possibility, too. Or the Banshee. I don't think the Banshee is going to be in range. Well, it might be. This is the Galahad, right? There's the Banshee. It's moving forward enough. Ah, oh, God, I don't know. We can get shot on his backside from here. Really bad chances to hit, though. But it's pretty bad all the way around the board here. Let's just do this, see if we can get a good shot on him. Okay. Wow, the rack failed on that one big time. It's the lack of recoil reduction, really, is all it is. There's not much we can really do about that, unfortunately. It is what it is. We're on fire. It's because we're hot stuff. Let's hammer him with everything. You're not gonna like it. Okay, got the tag on him. What's up, boss? Uh, I think we need to just do the melee. We're not going through a minefield? No. Okay. Locked on for physical attack. Oh my god.
You, you, oh, she missed the attack. Standing by. She missed the attack. Got it. <sighs> this guy's not even unstable. All right, firing straight in his back. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully we go before this guy. I have no idea what turn he's moving on. Uh, Galahad's on 24? No, Banshee's on 24. Sunflower's gonna go again, hopefully before, uh, most likely before this guy goes. I think we're far enough over here that we don't have to worry about these guys just yet. Once again, the goal is to see if we can take this guy down before we have to engage Megasaur. He's only got 40 internal structures, so if we actually hit this... We go before the Gladar, he's unstable. We're going to target this torso. Hopefully we take it down. And if we do, Megasaur is onto one of these two guys. Right through the fire. Get warmed up a little bit again. Come on, Banshee, what are you doing? Oh. Right, they may have somebody else that goes before 24. Oh, man. It's weird to be in a battle. Oh, how come you go before? You just kicked my arm off, you fucker. Took a hard hit there. And you're going down. Oh, I'm That's hit. not good. Oh. Well, it didn't tell us what turn this guy was going on. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, I know. That guy didn't move. It's like he's taunting Megasaur to move in. Yes, Commander. Don't have the melee range to do it though. Mmm, Barbarian's got good melee damage. Probably not the best move in the world, eh? So, yeah, I should have realized that uh, okay. most of this, the reason why we didn't take much damage was our damage reduction. We got a ton of damage reduction. We're set up for the next turn now. Oh man, really? Warning. Armor breach. Yeah, Internal where? Damage. Arm, okay. We can lose an arm and still be okay. Can't lose that torso though. That's the right side. Yeah. Light damage. Holding firm. Bizarre, it said melee attack Damage interrupted. is light. What can I do for you? Can you do me a favor and tell this black knight to fuck off? On my way. Or this uh gladiator to fuck off? Just shoot him straight in the back, please. Got it. Oh, we needed a back shot. Gotta take the damage, because we gotta get this guy. Rack still hasn't jammed. But we have to do this. Firing... 
Are you kidding me? Can you kill this guy for me, please? Please and thank you. On the move. Not likely. Oh! I take it back. Okay, well, we draw first blood, but we're still in a lot of problems here. Now we're in fire. Did that just say Master Tactician Reserved? The Barbarian Reserved? Armor breached. Internal damage. Yeah, I know. I think we're going to bail from this one, though. We'll have to see how it goes. I have to use Megasaur against the Barbarian. There goes the arm. Warning. Weapon system destroyed. Well, at least it's going to be cooler. I think my rack's jammed anyway. Well, they were elite. It is five skull. We're all only in heavies, so... Warning. Damage critical. Yeah. I split up my rack ammo into two different torsos. So... At least we have rack ammo. Yeah, we're on fire. We're doing a lot of bad stuff's happening. I think we'll finish up this turn, see how it goes on this turn. Oh god, we're down to six rounds. And then we bail. This one right now is essentially unwinnable. We'll let Megasaur go. God, really? This is... Ah, uh, man. Look at those gladiators, man. It's a freaking chess move. If we had pulled him down right away, like if, if Megasaur had gotten the shot on him right at the very beginning, and I wasn't stupid and ran through that minefield, I mean, I couldn't run around it. That's the thing. We would just have to keep backing up, and that guy would keep dropping mines on us, so it basically stops our melee attacks. But it's good to note for us for the future, so if we're up against melee max, we can just drop some thunder ammo on him. Oh, crap. Jesus Christ, really? We gotta hold it out for Megasaur. On my way. Um, is there any chance for a quick kill on this guy? Not really. If we get lucky on a torso shot, great. If we don't, we don't. But we're gonna take the chance anyway. Yeah, we're gonna let Megasaur go and then we're out of here. Um, yep, let's see if we can get this Banshee. Acknowledged. All right. Hope we can salvage that. 
Now the question is, Christ, we've taken a head hit too. I can't lose the Marauder. Um, Good to go. Marauder resolve. How bad is this guy hurt in the back here? Just barely touched. Like, if we just do this, just for sake of argument, we got a really bad chance to hit. It'll be slightly better from behind. Just looking at my Ultra 5 chance. Twenty two damage though with the ER PPCs. Melee is sixty damage. In theory, but really low chance to hit. I mean we could get Megasaur steamrollering. I mean if Next turn, we could take the Galahad. We still got a Black Knight back here, the Spectre, and I don't know, there might be something else moving back there that I haven't seen yet. Um, Bobby Yaga is going to be going like at the end of next turn. And if we don't kill this Barbarian, he could very well kill the uh, Marauder next turn. Uh, I'm going to cut my losses. As much as I want to stay and fight this one out, just to see what would happen, um, I can't afford to lose the Marauder at this point. And that's the point we're at. I know Megasaur would probably be able to pull down the Galahad next turn. It's just this Barbarian. He's got way too much armor and way too much um, defense here. He's cutting our damage by about 40 to 60 percent. And we just don't have the weaponry now to be able to take this guy on. It would have to all fall to the Black Knight. Um, yeah, let's withdraw. Not running away, we're making a tactical retreat. It's completely different. Well, yeah, we lost some sea bills on that. <sighs> we had to take the shot at it, though. I mean, we've been doing five skull missions for quite a while now. I just wanted to see where our lance was at for that. Once again, Galahad trumping us. Or not the Galahad, sorry, the uh, Gladiator. It just moves into those positions where it just makes it really tough to, like get anything going. Now I think we've had plenty of people say I should be arming a plasma ants, lance on Megasaur so let's not, let's forego the Banshee uh, part for now let's go with the plasma lance. I think that's an immediate upgrade um, so we're going to do that a lot of good stuff here but you know we're going to go this way plasma lance. Let's take it alright oh we got a gladiator part. Okay cool. Large pulse laser yeah we did okay. I mean well we lost a lot of sea bills. Wait do you see the repair bill. Yeah, well... Four, okay, that's a lot less than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be close to a million. But then again, we're not dealing with... We don't have clan mechs, so it's not so bad. Let's manage our tasks a little better here. Let's get the Marauder up to the top. Get that thing fixed. Thunderbolt up. Uh, catapult can... Well, let's bring the Catapult up. Because we're not having this... The Black Knight's not going to be running until later. Let's bring the Catapult in. Um, yeah, I think so. We'll do that. Just so we can get this lance up and running while the Marauder gets fixed. Alright, so I think what we're going to do, uh, like I said, it's got to be a shorter episode today and tomorrow. Uh, because I got to, um, most likely going to be sick tomorrow. 
but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so I will end this episode here, and when we pick it up next time, uh, I don't think we've got any other contracts here that we could really do with the second lance. Uh, General Forskull, not here. We might take incomplete intelligence and take the 12 day jump time, go do the three skull mission tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's uh, uh, Carapar, 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 Care Bears. Where the hell is that? Oh, good, it's closer to the front. So, did we, we didn't do anything to the, yeah, we did lousy. So we're going to jump here, I think, next turn. We're getting closer and closer to the uh, um, flashpoint here, which I think we're going to try and take. It's like three and a half skulls. I think that's perfect range for us for uh, um, consecutive deployments. I think we should probably be okay with this one. Expires in 88 days, so we have some time. Uh, so maybe the episode after the next one, we jump there and do it. But let's jump over here. Uh, for next episode and yeah, then we'll um, take our second lance out. Uh, we still need some sea bills for financial report We lost a bunch in this one like 600,000, but that should be no problem All right, so I'm gonna leave the episode there guys. I hope you enjoyed it once again I'm sorry. It was so short today, but um, yeah, if you like the episode drop a like if you haven't subscribed Please feel free to go ahead and subscribe and until next time. We'll see you all later